So it's been a little while since I uploaded a standalone emulator setup guide and I was thinking let's do some Neo Geo. So back in March this year, 2023 that is, I released the Neo Geo setup guide for Nebula. And today I'm going to be showing you Winkerbox and I'm going to be showing you video settings on this, how to get a full screen, controller configuration and other various video settings. So check this one out. Okay then, so first things first, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see today, hit notifications and also hit subscribe so you can get retro related emulation content as I upload it. And also if you're new, I do go through setup guides for many front end systems such as Retrobat, Launchbox, Batacera and beyond as well as lots of different standalone emulator videos. So we're looking at Winkerwox today and links in my description for this and here is the official website. Now it's a fairly oldish emulator, it's last updated a few years back but that's not to say it doesn't run good because it really does. So from here I'm going to just go to downloads. So from here we're just going to click in downloads the emulator. So we're done with this website now we can close this one down and you'll need to extract it so it will just be a simple case of right clicking on the zip compress file that you've downloaded and just extracting it i use winrar you might be using 7zip or winzip they're all pretty much the same so once you've extracted it you're going to get yourself a winkerbox folder and inside of Winkerbox, we got a series of subfolders and the one we need to look at to put our games in is the roms folder so once we open this up, you'll notice that this also caters for CPS1, CPS2, and obviously Neo Geo. So inside Neo Geo, we'll find a Neo Geo zipped file. We leave that one in there. Don't delete it. Don't touch it. That's what we need in there. So it's just a simple case now of dragging our games in, which I'm going to add need to be in zipped file extension. So don't extract your games. They need to be left in zipped Okay, so once you've done that, we can back out and back out again. And to open up the user interface for this emulator, we're going to go down to Winkerbox just here. So just double left click on this one. And you'll get a couple of pop-up messages when you run this for the first time. Just OK those. There should be two of those. Okay, so first things first, before we configure our controllers, we actually need to load a game into Winkerbox. So to do this, we're going to go to File. And from here, we can go to load game. And you're going to see lots of games just here. Now, don't get too excited. These games aren't playable. The only games playable are the games that you put into that folder, which I did just a minute ago. So we can scan for what we've got in our directory for our games. So just go to only available. And here we go. So if I just boot up one of my games, I'm going to just double left click in it. And I'm then going to set up the controller. Okay, so once the game's booted up, what we're going to do is just go to the game tab at the top just here. And if we just scroll down to redefine keys, redefine keys player one. And this is where you can now configure your controller. I'm using a wired PlayStation 3 controller. And it's just simply a case of using your cursor to go on each one of the spaces that represents the Neo Geo controller. And just corresponding this with the controller that you got plugged in. And it really is that simple. Now, just make sure you configure each one of these, especially the player one button just there. So for player one, I just use my start button on my PS3 controller. And also remember to get the coin at the top just here. And now we can go ahead and configure the action button. So for this one, I'm using the X on my controller, square, circle, and once I've done this, I'm going to go to OK and then save. So OK and then go up to game and then from game, I'm going to go to save settings. So let's check out this, if this is now corresponding with my controller. And as we can see, it's now working fine. So I'm going to have a quick run through this game to, to test this working OK. And then I'm going to go into some video settings. <laughs> Come 
do till you die. Okay, so we can see that's running really well, and by default, Winkerbox is going to give you a scan line effect. So we can change this by going over to video, and if we go down to select video blitter, as we can see, alternate scan lines is actually enabled. Now we got a selection of different filters to be using just here. So if I put this one to normal, that scan line effect is going to disappear. <laughs> Okay, back up to video again, and what we're going to do this time is take a look at some more options for our video settings. So under Interframe Blending, we got a selection here again, so we can add some motion blur. So let's check out motion blur. Hey, And as you can see, it's got a slight blur to it, but nothing substantial. So what I'm going to do next is just go down to select video blitter again and check out K-Scale. And K-Scale offers us some different scan line options just here as we can see. So let's just bump this one up to 75% scan lines. <laughs> Now, personally, I think that one looks really nice. So next thing we need to look at then is actually making this into a full screen. So what I'm going to do for this is go to video. I'm going to go to full screen resolution, Neo Geo, and I'm going to put this one onto 800 by 600. <laughs> next, we're going to need to go back to video. Just go down to correct window ratio. And from here, I'm going to go into small <laughs> And if we just now go into full screen just here, or we can press Alt and enter simultaneously. Now, if you should get this problem just here with full screen, I've got a solution for this. So let's just exit out of Winkerwalk. So I'm going to press Control, Alt and Delete. Bring up Task Manager, and we need to shut this down correctly. And just go to End Task. So what we're going to do, if you should crash on your full screen, if we go back into the Winkerox folder, the file we need to go to is located right at the bottom here. This is Winkerox configuration set. It's just double left click on this one. And if we just scroll down a little bit further, full screen mode to ratio correction, what we're going to do just here is change this zero at the end to a one. So just backspace and press one on your keyboard. And once you've done this, just go to File and Save, and you can close this down. Okay then, so if you crash whilst you're trying to get yourself a full screen, what we're going to do is go to Winkerbox folder again. If we go to the Winkerbox application, right-click on this. If we go to Properties, and then go to Compatibility, what we're going to do just here is run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7, press Apply and OK, and let's open up our game again and attempt full screen again. So file, load game, only available, game, and full screen, and here we go. Okay, so a few more things. When we've configured our controllers and done video settings, that type of thing, if you load the game back up, it's not going to find those configurations that you made. So to reload these configurations and so get your controller working without having to configure it all over again, all we need to do is just drag over to game. And from here, we're just going to go to reload settings from .ini. And my game is now working fine without the need of reconfiguring my controller. 
Another thing I want to talk to you about is if you're playing a game and you need to quickly leave it all of a sudden, we can actually save states in this. So if we go to file, save state slot, we've got nine slots in total just here, or rather 10 slots counting zero. So let's play a bit of the game and I'm going to show you how this works. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, what we need to do is just select a save slot, and of course you've got 9 or rather 10 save slots here, and we can use each one of these. So I'm going to just use default as this is my first save, and what I'm going to do is just go to save state, play this for a bit longer afterwards. <laughs> And to load back where I just saved it from, I'm going to just go to file again and load state. And as you've seen pop up on the screen just then, we've got a file save and we just loaded from it. So we're back to where we've just stopped the game from. So one last thing, what I'm going to sh do is show you how to close Wink Walks down. So if you just go over to the cross and close this down, it's not going to work. So what you need to do to close this down is actually just go to start pause emulation. And then once that's done, we go back to file and exit. So that's about it for my Winkerbox and Windows standalone emulation setup guide. Like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, do hit notifications and also make sure to subscribe. It helps my channel a great deal, plus it does get you emulation content as I upload it. So also join me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But like I always say, stay retro!